Hello my collective, or sorry, hello my cancers. This is your reading for my cancers out there. This is your Zodiac reading. Welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm Charlene, Charlene Vision. Uh, I am your seer. So if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and join the family. Comment down below of your reading and share my videos. I really do appreciate that and it does help the channel. Um, but if you are new and you want to know what I'm all about and what I specialize in, I am a seer and I <laughs> have gifts and I help the collective, I help you guys wake up mind, body, and soul to help you align to that because that is the journey I'm on and I have learned. I know that for a fact that that is my special, um, what I'm meant to do because of my life purpose and what God has told me. So if you guys want to know what the segments I offer um, on my channel, it's going to be down in the description box and I'll also have it in my bio so that you guys can understand more about my channel. But again, please like this video, subscribe, and share uh, my videos because it does help the collective reach. Uh, it, it, it does help to reach the collective of those who are meant to wake up, okay? <sighs> okay, so I don't want to make this too long. Uh, like my Sag reading. I did my Sag on live, but something's going on with a live reading. It's so annoying. It's not uploading. So uh, I'm just not gonna risk it with this with you guys reading. So I'm just gonna do a video. Um, so my cancer. So we're gonna see what's going on with you, what you need to know, what's happening, all that. Okay. So I'm using my um, tarot playing card. You know, the Queen of Hearts and stuff like that. Um, I don't. I don't really use this deck. So I'm like, you know, let me just start using this deck because I, you know, I haven't, and it's time for me to use it. So, I decided to use pulling out the new cards, okay? For this energy. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, actually. Wait, give me one second, you guys. I'm still getting familiar with the cards, so don't judge me. I gotta remember if this is the Wands or the Swords. These are the Swords. Sorry. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> so my cancers, um, you may be double checking something like um, to make sure something is uh, final, something is correct, something looks nice, or something is right. Okay, so that may be something that you may be going through with the energy. Um, but I got a single string of swords. <laughs> So the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. Interesting. So the Six of Swords talks about someone who's um, detaching from limiting belief or it's calling you to do that. But I'm, I'm, it can work either way for you, my cancer. Just put it how it fits. You may be someone who, are, who is detaching from the limiting beliefs, um, attachments, um, any grudge or something that's had a hold on you. You are finally leaving it behind and you're venturing out to a new journey, new energy. Hmm. Very interesting how I said it in the beginning, right? Um, so you may be venture out to a new energy, a new path, um, a new horizon. Okay, so that's something that you're heading into. So when I said the swing of swords, it sounded like I was trying to say the queen of swords. So that's maybe significant. Maybe the path of becoming the queen of swords, which I, that's one of my favorite card out of all the tarot deck is the queen of swords not the empress not the emperor which i like the emperor too that's the second favorite for mine um but it's the queen of swords that's my favorite card <laughs> um so the queen of swords uh basically is someone who's very powerful i mean he so who's very very powerful someone who um don't take no bullshit someone who stands on business someone who knows their worth someone who knows their value someone who speak with uh, authority who speak with wisdom who speak their mind someone who's not afraid to do so someone who's extremely confident someone who had who, who's in their divine feminine energy but it's also like when i think of the queen of swords like divine feminine energy but it's also like had the mind of an emperor that's how i see the queen of swords like it's a divine feminine energy but it has a mind of an emperor like a king like a, a masculine energy like you're logical you're practical you're able to discern you're able to see the truth you're able to understand the truth and, and you're able to speak so the queen of swords is someone who talks who speaks with knowledge who speaks with wisdom who speaks with understanding who knows how to discern okay this is a very powerful person to me is the queen of swords and you are headed to that um 
journey of becoming the queen of swords very very proud of you my cancers that is actually my favorite card is the queen of swords <laughs> um which i feel like is like the best best card out of the whole deck i don't care what nobody says people think it's the empress or the emperor which i i, I agree like those are good cards but the queen of swords it's the queen of swords for me it's the queen of swords for me my favorite favorite card because that's my natural energy is the queen of swords I just often have to remind myself, like, girl, you're the Queen of Swords. Why are you crying? Stand up. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, then we have the Two of Swords. Okay. So we had a Six of Swords and a Two of Swords. So right out the gate, my um, character is, there is something that has to deal with your mind. So you really need to pay attention to what's going on in your mind, your headspace, because that's something that's really... Um, that's where your energy really is vibrating at this time. Um, it's saying that you need to detach and let go of things. But I feel like you are on that path of detaching and letting go and becoming free. Uh, but there's something that you may not quite um, see. Okay, so something that you may not see yet. Okay, something that is probably like is very close to emerging okay but there's something that's close to emerge in front of you okay it's like a surprise like it may surprise you but you didn't even realize like it was, it was right there the whole time um but it's gonna it's it's coming it's coming out okay this thing that you're about to embark in okay uh it reminds me of like the card that came out for you the six of swords which talks about, you know, detaching and letting go. Um, if you guys, um, on my angel deck, the Six of Swords, how it's pictured, it's basically someone that's on a boat and there's swords all over the water, okay? And the person is venturing out to a high, a high rise and there's a sun right there behind the high rise or above the high rise. And that's how it's depicted, the Six of Swords. So that's it's very interesting i said that you're embarking um to somewhere okay so you're embarking somewhere where you don't even realize that something is forming emerging out of you you are becoming something of someone that no one can't resist okay you're becoming and emerging to someone that no one can resist again you may I'm just getting the Queen of Swords. You're emerging to the Queen of Swords energy. But it's like the Two of Swords, it talks about you don't recognize that or see that coming. You don't see what you are about to become. Okay? So the Two of Swords is someone who's like naturally blind. If you are familiar with the traditional tarot deck, it's someone who's like naturally blind. Like um, blindfolded. And there's two like, and this person is holding two swords like that. And this person doesn't see or recognize um the path it's meant to go or the choices that it needs to go. And in that depiction, there is a pathway that's highlighted, or it's right there. You don't see it, it's right there, but you're blindfolded. And you yourself can um, you know basically remove that blindfold from yourself to see it um you're going to eventually see so what i'm getting is excuse me cancer is that once you become or emerge or become this queen of swords energy you're not going to recognize it or even see it coming or even know that you are in that energy until it happens until you like you know you know you're not gonna realize it okay so it's like a because i say you're embarking on this journey so you're on this journey of becoming the queen of swords but you're not going to realize once you become the queen of swords until you know later on but that's what it tells me the two swords okay you're not going to see that coming but you're heading in that journey of like the queen of swords which is my favorite card favorite favorite card you guys Oh, comment down below, um, you guys. What is your favorite card in a um, traditional tarot or like any tarot deck? Like, well, all of them. Any tarot deck basically is based off the traditional tarot deck. So, out of all the characters, whether it's the major arcana or the minor arcana, who is your favorite character? Okay, who is your favorite? What's the favorite energy that you like? Comment down below. Comment down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Mine is the Queen of Swords. And then second is the Emperor. Okay. Like, people say, oh, I want to be a queen. I'm like, no, I want to be a king. Okay. Because, like, and I'm not, nothing wrong with being a queen. Like, I'm all, like, 
calling people like you know my sisters the queens and stuff like that nothing wrong with that but for me queen is like you know all about you know femininity divine feminine which i love that as well it's a very powerful energy but like me i don't always want to be in my heart space because divine feminine energy is like heart okay i don't always want to be in my heart space i i i, I want to be both but like i want to be like i, I want to be aligned with both mind and heart i feel when i think of the queen of of being a queen is like a mothering nurturing person a wife and stuff like that uh someone you know who reach a queen status my um mentally and within their heart chakra as well but i just i don't know i just always felt like emperor is where i want to be not like a, in a masculine energy it's just more of like knowledge wisdom um which wisdom comes from divine feminine but um i don't know i always gravitate towards kings or emperor what i wish to be um I feel like divine feminine is very like sensitive to energy and um emotion okay and emperor and king is more of like practicality and logic okay um so I don't know I like them both you know they both have their pros and cons but I just I like my emperor okay I don't like being emotional um but i know it's nothing wrong with you know being in touch with your feelings that's not what i'm saying um it's like when people are mm, and the, i don't like when people are in their victim mentality that irks me so much i was once a victim or <laughs> i was once living in that and i didn't even realize that and i realized how ridiculous i was being okay i, I didn't even realize like I'm like, what? Once I had my first spiritual awakening, I'm like, girl, what the hell? Are you, you what? You were tripping over that, like, girl. Uh, so, and ever since I gained the awareness of like how I was living in you know, my mind, how my mindset was, I'm like, uh, uh never again. <laughs> I'm like, no matter what happens towards me, I will never claim myself as a victim. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck the victim mentality. That shit doesn't get you nowhere. Like, woe is me. Who cares? Okay, things happen. Bad shit happen. Um, I not, I'm not going to harbor hate or pain over something that already passed. It's fucked up, but I'm not going to harbor so much hatred or for that person because that person hurt, hurt, hurt me. Or I'm not going to harbor pain um, where it already it already happened what i'm going to harbor is love in my heart i'm going to harbor the lessons i learned from it most definitely i'm going to gain the wisdom out of it and i'm going to let go i don't want the, that energy or that person or that circumstance or that experience to have a hold over me like a black cow like because first of all that's keeping me bound i'm trapped i now purposely put myself in a trap because of something that someone else did like why would i do that why would i be a victim like why would i actually admit that even if that person did me wrong why would i actually admit that oh i'm a victim no Th this person did me wrong and it's fucked up and that person's gonna get their karma but I i'm like okay i see you i see you but i'm not the only one that saw you good luck with that karma and keep it moving and let that go and again it depends on the situation because you know me, you know me i will you know use my discernment but if it's like something that was like completely wicked i will address that person accordingly but i won't hold on to it you know like let that shit go like when you do that you think that you're hurting that person or you're like i don't fuck with you because when you did that you did that to me like you think that you're hurting that person you think that oh you're doing yourself justice that you're defending myself but the whole time you're holding on to something that already passed you're holding on especially if you know that you're gonna keep that person in your life you're holding on to something for what if you don't want that person in your life cut that person out is that if you choose to still want that person in your life after that person did you wrong that's on you why are you holding on to that pain why are you holding on to that anger for what reason 
because again you can remove that illness that whatever trigger that's hurting you you can let go of it it's all up to you you don't know who carries the power you can't control others but you can control yourself how you respond to it sorry my cancer like, this may be significant of how i'm going out like like how i'm like talking like this so this may be the energy of your queen of swords you're just gonna be very blunt um in a way, way in a way that you're teaching people like hey like what are you doing okay that person did me wrong fucked up but okay i'm sure that person's gonna get their lessons they're gonna get their karma and i do uh, <laughs> pause right here just in case you guys don't know karma is very much real not because i'm saying it i know that okay i know that so people they let them not believe in karma let them not believe in god let them not believe because when the day come they're gonna believe oh shit that shit was real the whole time. Yes, bitch. Yes, you messed with the wrong one. Okay, so. Okay, so karma is very much real. Like, I literally know there's judges, spiritual judges. I actually see some. I actually know some. I am. <laughs> I'm just saying. But so that shit is very, very much real. Okay, so it's no point of going back and forth with someone who don't. Who don't take accountability for the action. That's another thing. Like, why would you hold on to something that someone not even take accountability for the action in it? And it's, if, if you're in the wrong, why would you get mad at somebody else of something that you did too? Like, no. If I did something wrong, I'm going to take full responsibility. I'm going to take full accountability and I'm going to learn from it and let it go. I'm not going to feel guilty. Cause why feel guilty of something that you already learned? It's something that you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, even if that person didn't forgive you. Forgive yourself and move on. Don't carry that energy with you. Keep it moving. Seriously, you guys, you gotta keep it moving. Don't carry that energy with you. Let that shit go. Let it fly. So all these things that I'm saying to you, my cancer, this is all um connected to the message for you that you need to hear. Okay, this is the Queen of Swords energy, like. I'm, I'm getting the kidney source. It's like you're just talking. Like you, like you telling people how it is. Like no filter. Like what you doing? Like you're not doing it in a, like it's like you come off like a mothering uh, way, but it's like masculine energy, like a like a, a father figure too. It's like you're using both energy, your mother and father energy, and you t and you're talking to people and you letting them know like what it is, like what they're doing wrong, and you may even do that to your uh, for yourself as well. Holding yourself accountable. You're holding yourself accountable, okay? So I'm about to go, you guys. Um, I'm going to do a love reading for you, my cancel cancer, <laughs> next. So um, you, I, I almost sound like I said cancel. Oh, people are not going to like your mouth. Oh, that's why. That's another reason why I like the Queen of Swords. She talk her shit. Okay, she speaks the truth, though. But she talk her shit and she stand on. She stand on business and she don't give a fuck. And people want to get mad at that for what? Why are you getting mad at that? Okay? Like, the truth hurt, doesn't it? Okay. The truth hurt, doesn't it? Because if it, like, the truth hurts. But people are not going to like you because you're going to be speaking facts. And I'm here for it because <laughs> I love the Queen of Swords. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. See you guys later.